Netherlands, 26% of the land lies below sea level. They've spent years developing new ways to deal with it. In the city of Rotterdam, look just below those tower blocks and you'll see a model that can rise and fall with the water, making it impossible to flood. What we try to do is to scale up from the floating homes we already have had for many years up to full-scale neighborhoods, including roads, infrastructures, and in the end, we want to build floating cities on the sea. It's <laughs> an incredible dream. Is it a realistic one? I think it is realistic in terms of technology, but it's also imperative that we develop this technology. This whole pavilion is built on one material, polystyrene. The air is trapped inside the polystyrene, which is what keeps this pavilion floating. And the innovation continues inside. This is an ETFE foil, and it's uh, about a hundred times lighter than glass. So it's a perfect material for, for floating structures. And it basically acts like a big greenhouse that can capture all the natural sunlight. So they're not just floating, but they're also more environmentally friendly than other traditional structures. Yeah, and yeah, we're trying to do most things right here, yeah. And, and to make a pilot of what uh, the future of floating building can be. Yeah. The availability of water combined with the lack of affordable housing in places like inner city Amsterdam make floating homes an increasingly popular alternative. But does living on the water make environmental sense? We've come to visit two new residents. Inside, it's not just about looking pretty on the surface, but utilizing the power of the water beneath. It is, because we're using a, what is called an air-to-heat water pump system, and it takes the temperature of the water with the temperature of the air, and there is a delta between them, and from that delta it creates energy. Upstairs, the designer tells us he believes people must invest in water-based living. It is estimated that in 2025, almost half of the world population will be living in the delta regions, which are under the hazard of floodings. People can either adapt or be flooded. Here in Delft, they're in the process of building a model village on the water. This place is a building site at the moment, but eventually it's designed to show the world the possibilities of what you can do with cities at sea. The Netherlands, though, of course, is a relatively rich Western nation which can afford to invest in this kind of floating technology. What about other countries, other cities like Manila and Jakarta? Could they really afford this floating technology? Yeah, I think those are the places that can benefit the most. And I think it's very important that we start doing something there now at this moment. Many Asian uh, countries are growing rapidly, so we expect that it will be a very interesting market in the future as well. With pressure from the weather, combined with a growing demand for waterproof living, many experts here agree the solutions lie not on land, but out there.